welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I thought I'd share a delicious homemade chicken pot pie recipe with all of you. I don't know about you, but we've been eating a lot of chicken lately, and we were getting tired of the same old two or three recipes. Tim and I were throwing out ideas, trying to figure out what we're going to have for dinner tonight. And he said, hey, you can make a chicken pot pie. I hadn't made a chicken pot pie in years, but I knew I had everything in my pantry that I needed to make it. After piecing together a few recipes that I googled, I came up with what I think was the perfect chicken pot pie. It turned out so creamy and delicious, and I can't wait to share it with all of you. So if you're looking for a super delicious chicken pot pie recipe, then I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. Oh, I love a chicken pot pie, but like I said before, it's been a long time since I've made one, so I had to Google a few recipes to refresh my memory on how to make it. I'll be making my pot pie with chicken breast, boiled potatoes, and frozen veggies, like corn, peas, carrots, and green beans. I'll make the creamy roux from scratch with butter, chicken broth, and heavy whipping cream, and then I'll top it off with a simple buttery pastry crust that only uses three ingredients flour, butter, and cold water. But first, I need to put away the clean dishes and then I'll gather everything I need to make the dinner. By the way, how are you all doing today? I hope you're having the best day ever. Even though it's fall here in the Virginia mountains, we've had a few very warm days. But from what I hear, the temps will begin to drop again real soon and I can't wait. Fall is my favorite time of year, but I prefer the weather to be cool and crisp this time of year. It's a little too warm for me. I have loved watching the trees change color. We have several large trees in our front yard, and to be able to watch them go from dark green to bright orange and yellow to the leaves falling on the ground was breathtaking. I love fall. What about you? What's your favorite season? Tonight, I decided to make the pie filling first, and then I'll make the pastry crust. To get started, I'm going to dice up some yellow onions and cut up two russet potatoes into small cubes, which I'll place in cold water before bringing them to a boil. I want the potatoes to be fork tender, but not mushy. I want them to hold their shape when I add them to the pot pie filling. Once I finish prepping the onions and potatoes, I'll then start getting the chicken ready for the pie filling.
Okay, I've got the potatoes in cold water and they are coming to a boil. So now I'm ready to prepare the chicken. I'll be trimming off any fat or gristle from the chicken. And then I'll rinse the breast in cold water. Yes, I'm a meat rinser. I've tried cooking meat without rinsing it first, but I just feel better if it's rinsed off. I'm not trying to rinse away any bacteria. I know the heat will take care of that. I just feel like the meat needs to be rinsed off to remove any slimy bits left behind from the butchering process. Anyway, after rinsing the chicken in cold water, I'll then cut the chicken up into small one-inch cubes. I'm going to be cooking the chicken and onions in olive oil over medium-high heat until the chicken is cooked through. I'll be seasoning the chicken with minced garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. While the cubed up chicken is cooking, I'll be keeping an eye on the potatoes, and as soon as they are ready, I'll remove them from the boiling water. I then plan to cook the frozen vegetables in the same boiling water to try and save myself from dirtying up too many pots and pans tonight. Yep, we've been eating a lot of chicken and pork lately. Beef is outrageously expensive at the moment. Even ground beef is getting ridiculous. You know what? We're surrounded by cow farms, so I'm going to look into buying half a cow to put in the freezer. I wonder if it would be cheaper that way. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to look into it. All right, well, I'm just going to let the chicken cook, and once it's ready, I'll then make the roux.
alright, so the chicken is pretty much cooked through. So now I'm ready to make the roux. To make the roux, I'm going to add about 4 tablespoons of butter to the pan with the chicken. And once it's melted, I'll then add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour into the pan, stirring constantly so that the flour doesn't stick to the bottom. I'll let the flour cook for 3 to 4 minutes so that it won't have that raw flour taste. And then I'll add the liquids. I'm using 1 cup chicken broth and 1 and a half cups heavy cream. I'll let the chicken broth and cream simmer for a while until it thickens up with the roux that I made. Okay, so this will take several minutes of constant stirring so that the flour doesn't stick and that the cream won't burn. But once the sauce is thickened, I'll then be ready to add the vegetables to the pan with the chicken. Alright, well let's make our creamy sauce. Alright y'all, so I've mixed all the vegetables and potatoes in with the chicken and cream sauce, along with a little bit more salt and pepper. So now the filling for my pot pie is all ready to go. It's now time to prepare the pie crust that will cover the chicken pot pie. I need 2 cups all-purpose flour, 2 thirds cup cold butter, and 5 to 6 tablespoons cold water. 
To prepare the pie crust, I'm going to mix the flour and butter together to create a crumbly texture. I have a pastry cutter, but I must have put it into storage because I couldn't find it. So I just used a fork in my fingers instead, and I was able to get it to the right consistency just fine. It would have been a lot quicker and easier with the pastry cutter or even a food processor, but it didn't hurt to use a little elbow grease to get the job done. The flour and butter mixture is now a crumbly consistency, so it's time to add the cold water. I'm going to add the water one tablespoon at a time, mixing with a fork until the dough can form a ball that's not too wet but still holds together without falling apart.
Y'all, my sweet neighbor was such a lifesaver tonight. I had completely forgot about the fact that I was going to need a rolling pin to roll out the crust. My rolling pins are in storage right along with my pastry cutter. But thankfully, my neighbor came through in a pinch and let me borrow her rolling pin. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out the dough. I'm going to be using a casserole dish instead of a pie plate. So I need to roll the dough into a rectangle shape to fit over the casserole dish. done y'all just one more step as soon as i get the pie crust onto the casserole dish i'll then cut a few slits into the crust to help release steam while the pot pie bakes in the oven at 400 degrees for approximately 20 minutes or until the crust is golden brown well actually i guess there are two more steps after i cut the slits into the pie crust i then brushed an egg wash all over the pie crust which will help it achieve a beautiful golden brown crust Unfortunately, I forgot to show that step, but right before I put the pot pie in the oven, I beat one egg with a small amount of water and brushed it all over the top of the pie crust. I then baked it in a 400 degree oven until the pie crust was golden brown.
right, y'all. Dinner is almost ready. The chicken pot pie is baking away in the oven, and I found time to clear off the countertops. So now I'm going to go make some sweet tea. The way I make sweet tea is I bring water to a boil in a pan, and once the water starts boiling, I'll then remove the pan from the heat and add the tea bag to the hot water. I allow the tea bag to steep for as long as possible before transferring it to a tea pitcher with two cups of sugar. You could always add less sugar, but I don't recommend adding more sugar. Two cups of sugar is more than enough to make a super sweet tea, just like my mama used to make. Dinner is ready, y'all. I'm just going to pull the chicken pot pie out of the oven and allow it to cool down for about five minutes before digging in.